What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on Rise of Kingdoms and we're going to be talking about our Richard and we're going to be maxing out his skills to unlock that expertise but before we do today's video is being sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms if you guys want to download this game for yourself there'll be a link down there in the description so you can download it on your favorite device and we also have some great update news before we hop into talking about Richard there's going to be some good updates coming and we got a little bit of a sneak peek before we get into maxing out Richard we got a sneak peek on this update so the first thing that we're going to be seeing is there's going to be a new achievement system now all these pictures are not final or anything like this it's kind of a little just you know sneak peek of what we are getting but there's going to be a new achievement system in the game that you can work your way through get some rewards get all that kind of great stuff working through there uh, and as you play the game you'll unlock more achievements get more points and build up to unlock those rewards so pretty excited about the new achievement system coming to the game and then we'll also be getting alliance skills if you guys have ever noticed on your alliance uh, uh, skill tree tech tree there's skills in there that you are kind of just question marks so we will finally start getting some of those skills unlocked in the game uh, which will give you little buffs and passive stuff to help out the alliance and it'll work just like the tech where you donate and unlock those things so some pretty cool stuff coming to the game this is just our very first sneak peek so there's going to be a lot more cool stuff coming but let's go ahead and hop in and talk about our Richard here so uh, our double C is our top commander at level 50 and I'm actually working on getting my Luigi up to level 50 next because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run him in front of Richard and have Richard as a secondary. I'm not sure. Just because epics are a little bit faster to level up than legendaries, I don't know. That's kind of what I was thinking there. But if we take a look at our Richard, we got him on a full infantry build, which is nice. There's a lot of good infantry stuff in here. Uh, gives huge buffs to attack, health, uh, and defense, all that kind of good stuff as we kind of work through there. But his skills are incredible. He's got got that healing factor of 1400 that's right 1400 healing factor 30 percent damage reduction he's got a march speed reduction to the enemy right there uh, and then he's also got damage taken reduction counter attack bonus by 10 percent and then our final skill that we're going to be uh, maxing out infantry attack bonus and defense bonus 15 percent 15 percent and illusion also has that which i like quite a bit uh, and i think that's going to be a nice uh, pairing and then we also have the healing effect enhancement where you get an extra 30 percent healing uh, and reduces watchtower damage taken by troops by 30 percent and then his expertise reduces all damage taken by five percent and increases all damage dealt to cavalry units but by two percent uh in addition for every two ten 10 seconds decreases the target march speed by 50 percent for five seconds so we're gonna go ahead and go in here we're going to exchange all of these. If you don't know, uh, you can't get like Richard from gold chests or anything. You got to get them from the wheel. However, you can use those gold blanks on them. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade to max out our Richard. Get that last skill maxed out. And that will be our very first max skill legendary commander. Making him super powerful. I mean, he's already a super strong infantry commander in the game. Unlocking that tyrannical lion ability uh, for the expertise, which, I mean, that's going to be pretty nasty. Increasing the damage dealt to cavalry and infantry units. Uh, dealt to cavalry units by infantry by 2%. And then slowing them down as well. You got to love that. So... Our Richard, I, I like the way that frame looks over there also. Uh, nice and glowy, looking great. He's going to be pretty strong. I mean, he overtook our CC as far as power goes. We got three more skills to go on CC, but... Uh, that's going to take a little bit to get there. We'll, we'll get there, but I don't know what legendary I want to work on. I think I'm going to max out CC next uh, because he gets a cavalry uh, attack increase by 25%. Does decrease cavalry defense by 10%, but that cavalry attack uh, with the nukers is always incredible. So let's take a look at Richard here. He's just going to be a great infantry commander. We take a look at his talents. Uh, I just went really heavy on the infantry, and I'm trying to work on getting his skills up. Uh, or his level up so we can unlock some of these defense abilities. I think the defense abilities are pretty nice, but uh, the infantry is the way I went. Uh, the little ones here, we got defense, attack, all that kind of stuff that we normally see, uh, which is always good. But also, whenever this army... The army led by this commander is reduced 50% strength, increased defense by 6%, which is great. I mean, once they start getting weaker, they get stronger defense. Normal attack increased by 1.5%. Normal attack increased... Uh, grants an additional nine rage which is obviously 
going to make those abilities or those skills pop off a little bit more. Infantry units led deal additional 9% to cavalry units. So basically, Richard is going to stop those uh, cavalry nukers in their paths and help just take them down. Uh, march speed by 6%, health by 6%. And then we have, uh, when it's all infantry units, gives a 10% chance to reduce damage taken by 20% for the next two seconds, which is huge. And then we have the Snare of Thorns, gives it its normal attacks by 10%, reduces march speed by 20% for the next two seconds. And then when all infantry units, increase the attack, defense, and health by 2.5%, which is all really huge buffs. You're going to run him with heavy infantry builds. Uh, I've been running him... Like I said, we want to. I'm running him with the Luzi a little bit, but I, a lot of people run him with Charles. But Charles was one of my first commanders that I really messed up. So Luzi is a really good kind of substitute for that, and I really like Luzi's kind of trees here. Uh, so we could throw him in on an infantry tree, but he also has this nice little attack path, and I'm just working and kind of experimenting with getting him up. Uh, you can see I still have a talent point because I'm kind of just trying to decide what I want to do with him, and maybe we'll talk about that in the future. But for now. That's kind of where we're at with it. Let's go ahead and finish this video off by opening whatever gold keys we have. Just see if we can get any luck in here uh, and just kind of get in there. I'm really pumped up about maxing out our Richard. Pumped up about the new achievements and alliance skills coming to the game. Oh, this is looking bad, guys. All right, we got some Tabo in there. But I think I think things are going pretty well as far as the game. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for some of the sneak peeks that are going to be coming. You guys are going to be really excited for them. Uh, and we'll have those on the channel, so make sure you subscribe if you're pumped up for that Kinsunoki over there, uh, which I need to work on him quite a bit. Five Julius Caesar, let's go. Uh, we did max out our Herman, so we don't need Herman as much. Sarka, always getting those Sarkas. And it's getting to a point where a lot of my epics are getting maxed or close to max. I think Sun is going to be my next one. Pelagius, we need some of him. I think Sun is going to be the next one that we max out, so we got quite a bit to go on that oh a couple of charles we need as many charles as we can get for sure but this will be good nice belisarius we need him and snoke a couple more in there just anything we can get in here is helps just a little mini opening to finish off the video i don't like sitting on keys for a long time i like opening up and seeing what i get i guess that's kind of a problem but uh oh double c there we go two of him plus some osman there we go, guys. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and open up all these silvers. I don't know. I just I get impatient. I just want to open up and see what I get my my gold and silvers, uh, which is always good. So anytime I stack up, you know, like twenty of them, I'm just ready to open them, and that's why we're doing this here at the end of the video. Uh, let's see if we can get anything good in here. Get some purples. There's some Kinsunokis, uh, which. He's, he's a decent commander. He's just really low level. My problem is I'm that I'm finding right now is I want to level up like all my commanders, but I just don't have the tomes or the experience or the action points to do that. It just takes so much to get all your commanders, especially from 40 to 50. It's a pretty big chunk, and that's that, that drained me on my double C, getting him up to level 50. But we did get him there, and... I definitely noticed the difference because you get those 10 extra talent points. So there we go. Not too bad of an opening. I mean, not too great of an opening. But there we go, guys. Our first maxed out legendary commander. Max skills, that is. Not max level or anything like that. But max skill commander, legendary commander, Richard the First. Ah, he looks beautiful in there, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.